Hey, this is Terry from Fiberscope.net. Today we're going to be looking at our Truglo Tech crawler. So, as you can see, you've got a brass crawler with a pan and tilt camera head. You can also get a 1.9 inch uh, straight view camera head as well. Uh, camera heads are just removable from the front of the unit. And then you've got uh, your brass crawling setup. There's a battery on top of here. So, this is a rechargeable battery to run the whole unit. And then you've got four wheels right now for a bigger configuration. Um, when you get the unit there's six smaller wheels on here that you can use to go straight down four inch lines and then in the largest configuration you can do 12 inch lines. You could do a bit larger than 12 but you're not really going to be centered but that's where the pan and tilt camera head would come in because that'll allow you to look around. Connecting the crawler unit, you're just going to take your cable, line it up and just screw it in. So once your cable is screwed in, on your monitor unit, you've got a brake to actually, you've got a handle to reel the unit in. So you can use the handle when you're backing out to reel it in. On the other side, you've got your handbrake. So it's just your orange handle over here. And then you've got your video processor and your power button. So you just press this down. You'll see the screen will power on. So you'll see the camera head is actually going through its rotation and what it's doing is it's home positioning. So it's centering its position in the pipe. So if you're in the middle of the pipe and you ever kind of lose where you are, you could always turn the unit off, turn it back on and the camera will reset. Or you can use the button on here to do that as well. So there is a home position button for the unit. Nice thing about the pan and tilt camera head here, you can go side to side and it's over 90 degrees each way. You can actually spin around in a full circle if you wanted to. You can also rotate up and down. So you can see the camera is going to go all the way around. And then there's also a manual focus. So you can focus on something close up to the edge of the camera head, or you can go back and you can focus um, a number of feet away if you want. The buttons on here are also clearly labeled, so you've got your rotation, which spins it up or down, and then you've got your tilt to go side to side. You can also pressurize the camera head, so you can pressurize it so that you can use it in water. The unit is submersible as well. Keyboard is going to be your functions if you wanted to do on screen for a job or if you have something else that you want to write as a note for the unit, so you can do that. There is a counter to tell you how far out you've gone. The reel is going to have a 300 meter cable, which is 980 feet, um, so you can go quite far with it. And then you've got your tractor controls on the side as well. So your tractor controls are what's going to drive the unit. So if you go backwards, actually here, we'll start going forward. So you can drive forward, you can stop, you can increase the speed with which you're going forward. If you want to go faster, and then the nice thing is, when you go to back up, the lights on the back come on and there's a backup camera so you can see where you're backing up to. And that'll allow you to decide where you want to go, if you want to go faster, what you want to do. The nice thing about this too is that you also have steering. So if you push the buttons, you can use the controls to steer where you want to go as well. steering it's just the two buttons on the side so as you can see right now if we just do left button you'll see the crawler will just kind of jump towards the left same thing you can do right if you want to go the right way and then you can also do that as you're driving so as we're driving forward we can use the steering to move the crawler towards the side it just goes a little bit slower if you're driving forward As you're backing your camera out, the backup camera will show you where you're going 
for the reel, you want to make sure that you're monitoring what you're doing. So as we go back here, you can see on the screen where the camera's going and if you need to steer it, you want to hold tension on the cable here to make sure that you're reeling it back in consistently. And you just want to guide it through. So as we mentioned on the monitor, you actually have iris buttons. So this will allow you to switch if you want to zoom in or if you want to zoom out. And then you've got your focus buttons. So you can focus close up or you can focus far away on something. So right now you can see the cuff of my pant. Or if I move this, we can focus further down and see what's down the building side. And then the iris button is to, there's an auto level in, built into the unit. So you can set if you want the auto level or if you want it to be just straight. So that way, if you're going over bumps and stuff, the camera would adjust so it's always right side up. And then this is your home position. So the camera will automatically reset back to straight forward zero degree view.